hello everyone hope you all are doing good and uh, in this video we are going to discuss uh, how to prepare for ISTP, ISTQB exam and how I actually prepared for my exam and similarly uh, we'll see other factors also and in this uh, I'll suggest you to go for a Udemy course which I personally took and uh, after like reading and preparing from it I was able to clear my ISTQ exam in a single go okay so let's discuss okay so let me like uh, initially only let me tell you the Udemy course which I purchase and uh, So when you go to Udemy, okay, just uh, certified tester ISTQB, you have to type it like, okay, or simply type ISTQB foundation level and this course, see, like I purchased this course course back in 2018 and uh, if you open this course so I'll not play anything but I'll give you an idea how like I reset the course so don't think like I haven't completed it I completed it but actually like uh, I reset it again so like just like uh, if you go through the uh, syllabus of ISTQB, there you will find that different sections. Okay, so ISTQB uh, test you on different sections, and uh, uh, there are around five to seven questions from each section, and in total there are around sixty to sixty-five questions, and in that you have to score at least sixty-five percent. That means like you have to like twenty-six questions you have to mark it correct out of 40 yeah sorry sorry for that like you have 40 questions in front of you and you have to score 6, 26 out of 40 okay so in the first section like they will introduce you about ISTQB and all that so this is not that much important but I suggest you to please go through it once now this is very important part the fundamentals of are the fundamentals of testing okay like error defect failures test coverage this is a very important part and uh, seven testing principles believe me guys like one or two questions is definitely going to come from it so again like very famous question test condition test cases procedure and suits okay so as you can see like the initial part the introduction part like fundamentals is pretty important and if you can uh, have a good grasp uh, over the fundamentals then i'm sure that the rest of the rest of the journey will be very easy for you and uh, like this is development models waterfall v model okay and agile scrum so i often uh, talk about this stuff in my videos and uh, like why ISTQB is important I have covered it in a separate video and if you can click click on the I button there you can see uh, like why ISTQB is important and how it can help you as a fresher to grab your first job okay uh, sorry for the background noise after that like static testing then this is again believe me guys that uh, once you go through the fundamentals then each and every part will be very easy for you then how you're going going to design the test cases okay test management and uh, like yeah this is the last part uh, seven section okay support and let me open each and every yeah so these are the models and uh, after that static testing okay and you have got quiz also so this is also pretty much important that after each and every module you go uh, through the quiz to see like whether you have truly understand that particular module or not okay and now the test design so like again guys like uh, let I am repeating that why ISTQB is important that if you go through this part okay this module then you have like 
you will have an understanding of how to design test cases how to write test cases okay so after uh, like clearing the certification then your employer then your employer uh, will know that okay this like a person uh, a has cleared istqb certification that means that he has the caliber of uh, like he knows all the things which are covered in the exam okay although the passing percentage is 65% but uh, like you have before uh, giving the exam i personally suggest you to attempt at least two mock test so there like you can have an idea okay in what at what level you are and similarly it is going to help you okay um, then the last part is uh, tool support for testing and uh, after completing this you have also a sample exam okay so one sample exam is covered in this and uh, there are like previous year kind of questions kind of so like this but you don't have to purchase other mock test kind of thing so purchasing this course will uh, like definitely make your work and i'll comment down in the description box a uh, like link of this course so that you don't have to go and search it on the udemy okay and uh, finally some tips and uh, some last word from the instructor and like I purchased this course in 2018 and uh, I I was kind of 70% prepared because like I prepared it for uh, three or four weeks like three weeks is more than enough to clear this exam believe me guys okay now coming back here that I I don't know why it is not working. Okay, leave it. We will use the pointer. Okay. Mm, yeah. So time required is, I'll say two weeks is more than enough. Okay. Two weeks. Then the strategy uh, will be that uh, at least uh, go through it twice go through course twice so that that way like once uh, just to have an idea how things work and second time like make crisp note short note i'll not recommend you to make uh, that much descriptive note but still like if you have time go for it otherwise like short and crisp note that will help you in revising like after giving the mock if you are not able to get 60 percent okay so let's say in mock one you scored 60 percent then again go back and uh, revise the notes and whenever you start getting 70 to 75 percent marks in mock test then i'm sure you're going to clear this exam in one go okay uh, i'm going to make a dedicated video on this so whenever the video will be available uh, like check out the description box i'll link uh, this video because like this is a little complex process uh, back in 2018 it was pretty straightforward but now like they have so much options so i was like myself confused so like uh, i will make a dedicated video on this part and uh, if you can see the i button here then obviously you can click on it and uh, see that video and after giving like just one second later so whenever you click on complete exam so there and matlab, uh, that and there there and that itself uh, you're going to uh, then and there was the word i was looking for then and there uh, you are going to see your result okay and uh, the physical certificate you can get it after i got it after one month but i'm not sure how they are sending it now and whether they are sending it or not so actually that doesn't matter that physical certificate but your knowledge and whatever you have learned through this course that actually matters and um, as you have seen the syllabus so again like this covers almost 70 to 80 percent of manual testing and surely it is going to help you okay so best of luck guys and i hope uh, you clear your istqb exam again like whether ISTQB is good or not, I have made a separate video on that. Please go check it out. And uh, that's it, guys. If you still have any question, just uh, comment down below and surely try to help you out. Thank you.